Breaking, Biden sends America's doomsday plane to England as he travels to Brussels and Poland. Hello, folks. My name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com. Again, that's www.GoldenStateTimes.com. And it says the U.S. doomsday plane was flown to Europe with President Biden's fleet this week as he travels to Brussels and Poland. The plane is designed to act as an emergency command center in case of nuclear war with Russia or any other adversary. The Boeing 747, codenamed Nightwatch, was spotted landing Thursday at the Royal Air Force Base in Suffolk, England. Biden was in Brussels on Thursday at a NATO summit attempting to continue to strengthen support for opposition to Russia while mulling potential new consequences against Putin over his invasion of Ukraine. The doomsday aircraft regularly travels with the Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin is also in Europe as part of Biden's delegation with NATO and European leaders. The aircraft is designed to be highly survivable in case of a nuclear attack. The plane that arrived in England is one of four in the U.S.'s fleet and has been dubbed by many as mobile pentagons. It says that the aircraft can provide control over American nuclear weapons from anywhere in the world, and it could also be POTUS's command center in, in case of the aftermath of a nuclear strike. It says that the Russians have only hinted at using nuclear strikes in response to existential threats from Western countries, including NATO allies. So let me give you a little bit more information regarding this doomsday plane. So let me show you guys real quick here how this plane not only looks, but also everything that has to do with this plane is pretty Pretty interesting stuff. Let me show you guys real quick. Here we go. So this is the doomsday plane. Now it's getting refueled by another U.S. Air Force aircraft in this picture. But as we as we can see here on this graphic, it says it's a Boeing E-4. It's a 747 Advanced Airborne Command Post. That is the name of the um, of the airplane, the official name. But the dubbed name is Nightwatch. So that is what it's called. So this plane can hold a crew of 112 people. The length of the plane from nose to tail is 231 feet. Its wingspan is 195 feet, 8 inches. The height of the plane is 63 feet, 5 inches. And the empty weight of the plane is 410,000 pounds. The loaded weight of the plane could be up to 800,000 pounds. So is uh, inside the power, the power plant of it is four General Electric CF6s, 50E2s. Um, and the turbofans at uh, uh, 52,500 IBFs each. The maximum speed of the plane is 523 knots at around 602 miles per hour. The cruise speed is Mach, uh, Mach 8 at around 555 miles per hour. The range, the range of the plane is 6,200 nautical miles. Um, its endurance is around 150 plus hours. And the service ceiling is around 45,000 feet. So if you guys can see on here, it says Ray Dome. It houses some of the nearly 67 different satellite dishes and antennas right here so it can be pretty much a command center not only for the secretary of defense but also for the president of the united states in case a nuclear weapon was in fact deployed and certain part of the country or however it may be is under attack so the the plane can continue flying as other planes come and refuel it it will be 
uh, in control because of this Ray Dome satellite connecting to all satellites around the world. Um, it also says that it has 18 bunks and six bathrooms in three decks. As you guys can see, it's, it's triple decked here. And it says no digital touchscreens in the cockpit or elsewhere. Analog instruments are less likely to be knocked out by electromagnetic attack. So everything in this plane is analog. Every single part of it. There is nothing too advanced because the last thing they want is for for a uh, electromagnetic attack to happen and knock the whole plane off. Um, any of the the components of the plane to be knocked off. Um, also, it says in-flight refueling can keep airborne for days. The current record is thought to be around 35.4 hours without refueling. But it can refuel and refuel and refuel. And then that way it will continue to be on the air. So once again, there is four of these type of aircrafts. One of them was sent with Biden as he traveled uh, traveled to Brussels, and also now he's traveling to Poland, where he's set to deliver a speech on Saturday morning that we are actually going to live stream here at Golden State Times. So let us know what you guys think about this whole situation. Um, the the Democrats here and uh, Biden is talking a lot about these nuclear weapons, and we just don't know what to think about it. But we want to know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions in the comment section below. What do you guys think is going to happen with this whole Russia-Ukraine crisis going on? Uh, Biden sending over the doomsday plane over to England to make sure that it's at the ready as he is in Poland and in, uh, in Brussels. So let us know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times uh, to stay up to date on everything that is going on in politics, breaking news, scoops, and everything else in between. Go to our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. If you guys missed our previous video, it should be coming up on your left side. President Trump has a rally coming up next month in North Carolina because his candidate is in a little bit of trouble. So he's trying to go and uh, and rally the troops and rally uh, supporters in North Carolina for his candidate. Also, make sure on the right to go and check out all the other videos that we have on our channel and future live streams. Thanks so much, folks, for joining us here at Golden State Times. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below and visit our website and bookmark our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Thanks so much, folks. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Peace.